let's talk about how you can create a Canvas app in seconds. Copilot is changing the way functional developers like me operate, and now you can create a fully fledged Canvas app by telling Copilot what to build. Let's get into it. These features I'm showing you were just announced by Microsoft at the beginning of 2023 and is now being released as a part of the 2023 release wave two to the Power Platform. While Microsoft has already announced some mind blowing things that Copilot is gonna be able to do in the Power Platform for end users and developers, some of these things are just not all available today. With all of this being said, let's get into it and see how powerful this thing is. So here we are in the Power Apps Maker Portal and if you haven't logged in recently, you'll now see that there is this Copilot screen on the top of the web page and what almost looks like a chat window. Right above the window are going to be several different prompts. These ones, for example, are collect RSVPs, track sales leads, list inventories, or manage inspections. Clicking on one of these is going to automatically bring it into the chat window where you could then further add context to Copilot for it to build your app. We are actually not gonna use this example today though. We are gonna create a Canvas app that is going to list our opportunities. So if I go ahead and select here and remove this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and type in, let's list opportunities. So we have now effectively given Copilot a prompt to create a Canvas app that is going to list our company's opportunities. So once you have your prompt in there, go ahead and select the send arrow here to send that to Copilot. That is gonna bring you to this screen here where it is generating your table. You can now see that we have an opportunity view with different fields on it. This is editable in the screen. You can just go ahead and click the pen here. I'm not gonna update this for our example today, but if you need to, go ahead and do that here. It's gonna be easier to do it now than it is later. So once you have your table configured, go ahead and in the bottom right hand corner, hit Create App. It's then gonna bring you to this loading web page where Copilot is going to begin creating your app. This can take up to a couple minutes, but no need to refresh or anything. Once it's created, it will automatically direct you to the Canvas app maker. So don't worry if it's taken a while, you are in the right spot, you did not miss a step. The first time I did this, this was the moment when my mind was absolutely blown. So here we have a Canvas app that contains all the different components necessary to view a list of opportunities. The different screens and buttons and containers and galleries have all been automatically created for you. But Copilot doesn't just stop here. You can now continue to interact with Copilot to update your app. Currently, you can have Copilot at a gallery, at a button, at a text label. You can have it update existing things like make the font in a certain label bold or change the, the background color or, or change the font color in the text label. The possibilities feel endless. And just a quick tip, if you didn't create your Canvas app with Copilot, you can actually still access this by going to this top right hand corner and selecting the Copilot pane. Let's see how Copilot can update our app. I need to share a quick disclaimer. I found that Copilot can be a little tricky at the moment, but I'll be sure to share all the tips and tricks that I found through my experience in having it build what I want to. Sometimes it'll just say, I don't understand what you're asking, but I'm sure this is just because it's new functionality and it is only gonna get better and better month over month. So let's say that I actually wanna change this opportunities ribbon. I want the font to be smaller. Smaller. Let's say instead of size 16, we want it to be size 12. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and type in to make the font size 12. Just to demonstrate how Copilot is going to update this for us, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on the label or the item that you're wanting it to update. You'll see that I'm actually typing out the exact name of the component I want it to update. I've also found that this helps as well so that Copilot understands what it is I'm talking about. So now with our prompt typed in, let's go ahead and hit send. You can see here that now Copilot is telling me, sure, the change was made to table label name one. You can hit undo on that change if it were to update something that you didn't actually want it to do, which in our example, let's say, oh no, 12 is way too small. We actually need to make it bigger in order to look better. Let's make it 24. So we can actually go ahead and undo this here by clicking the undo. And then you'll see now that our opportunity label has returned to the original size. Now let's go ahead and say we actually want this to be size 24. So with this typed in, I can go ahead and hit send and it's now gonna begin working on it. 
And there you have it. Now opportunities is bigger. Now I know you might be saying like, Griffin, it would have been way faster to just update the text size. And to that I would say, you're right. It would have been. But what is so crazy to me is that Copilot is allowing the ability to just simply write out what that is. So there's a lot of things that might be way more technical or more involved to do. Something like creating a gallery or a list is not too intuitive for people that don't have experience with Canvas apps. And Copilot can actually do that as well. One of our prompts down here is to add an email screen. Let's go ahead and do that. If you haven't noticed, there is a little refresh button here. This is going to refresh the given prompts. Because we want to add an email screen, I'm not going to hit that. But let's go ahead and say, hey, add an email screen. And now we have an email screen that follows the exact same template for our previous screens. So this way we don't have to do any additional formatting. You can see here that this screen automatically created a send email button with the on select property being completely formatted. If we click on this send email button and look up at the formula, you can see that all this stuff has automatically been created by Copilot. I didn't have to type in any of this and I created an email screen in my Canvas app in one sentence. Let's say that on this screen we need a back button to navigate back to our list of opportunities. We can actually use another prompt, this add a button prompt. And if we select add a button, you'll see that a button has now been added to the screen. Now with Copilot, we can tell move the button to the bottom left of the screen, move it to the bottom right. But I'm gonna go ahead and just move this manually. So if I go ahead and move it, let's go ahead and say we want this to be here. And if I double click, we want this to be a back button. And now with this button selected, I'm gonna go ahead and tell Copilot to make this button on select navigate back to our main screen one. So if I go ahead and type out have button one navigate back to main screen one and I have button one, our back button selected, if I go ahead and hit send, you can now see that the on select property in our function is to navigate back to main screen one. Now I could have absolutely no experience with functions in Canvas apps, but here I am able to create one just by telling Copilot. I know I've said that so many times, but it truly is crazy to see that Microsoft is pushing the envelope and what Copilot can actually do for you. There is one last functionality that Copilot can do in Canvas apps, and that is gonna be this little thing here. If you go ahead and click an item, you'll see that you can get this Copilot conditional formatting thing to pop up. So this is providing different suggestions on how you can make your app better, how you can add different logic to show and hide different components on a screen. You don't have to input any of these into the different properties of the components. Copilot is just gonna automatically suggest, hey, people in this situation might do this. Would you like to? The different prompts at this point are limited and like I said at the beginning of the video, there can be a lot of trickiness where you might tell it to do something and it will just come back after a few moments and say, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. Can you add a little bit more information? So at this moment in time, I think there are a lot of things that genuinely might just be faster not using Copilot for like updating the font size. But you have to remember this is just in preview. This is something that is brand new that Microsoft is rolling out across its suite. And some of the capabilities that are already present are only making it easier to build apps for your business, empowering functional and citizen developers like myself. And let me just say, if you think this stuff is crazy, I'm gonna have to point you to another video here. This is gonna show you how you can create an automated cloud flow with Copilot. So make sure you check out that video to see how easily you can create automated cloud flows with Copilot like we created a Canvas app today. My name is Griffin Lickfeld. Thank you guys for sticking to the end of the video. I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.